Germany. The final push into the heart of darkness. The SOE had recruited the six of us under my command. For one reason. To retrieve files on the top secret Project Phoenix. The last gasp of the Third Reich. A coalition of Allied commandos thrown together and aimed at where our enemy was most vulnerable. This was meant to be our first and only mission. We have a chance. Who's going first? No, man. You have a go. Everyone stay close. We have a chance. Who's going first? Novak, you have a go. Everyone stay close. Jerry out, I bet Petrova takes the other.
Radio. Save some for us, Novak. Bloody ho. Save some for us, Novak. Looks like we're doing this the hard way. Get on the other train and blank those clouds. Let's not chance it. Take the roof this time.
Novak, shoot the driver! your uncle. Fuck me dead. Now that we've been properly shot at, might the officer in charge tell us what the hell we're doing here? That submarine base is our final stop. Once we're in, we move to secure the objective. He wants us to secure it, but you won't tell us what it is. Kingsley's been dancing around that since the get-go. This ain't just another Easter egg hunt, is it? Yeah, mate, what's the bloody story? We don't quite know. You mean the SO fucking E doesn't quite know? You know what? I'm gonna go pull the brakes. All we have is a name. Phoenix. <laughs> oh, so we got no idea what we're up against. That's the mission. To find out. SOE says the Krauts are moving something big out of Germany. Could be a document stash. The holiest of holies. We are here to pinch it. If this is so important, why did they not send an army? They did. The six of us. Mate, we're not from the same army. Hell, we're not even from the same continent. Quiet! Get back! Why were we chosen for this fucking suicide mission? Brass handpicked six specialists to hit the crowd fast and get away clean. An army can't do that. Too loud. Too slow. Which is right. They won't see us coming. In and out with those papers before they know it. Do we understand the plan? I shoot Nazis. They die. That's my plan. The entrance is passed around you, just across these tracks. Let's get those papers before Jerry's any wiser. I'll cover you from this boxcar.
them area! Look for the command room. This must be it. Jackson, get the door! We missed a hell of a party. Looks like they left in a hurry. Phoenix, we must be close. Not for long. Crowds are moving their stash onto a sub. You see that lot lugging that chest? I bet you London to a brick. That is what we're after. So what are we waiting for? Time to bring the heavy stuff. Yeah, we're talking. Wait. We can't go in loud. Arthur? Whatever's in those papers is the best kept secret in the Third Reich. And the crowds kept them here. In the arse end of nowhere. So what? It makes no sense. It's like leaving the crown jewels on the front porch. With hardly anyone watching them. The entire German army should be guarding this place. We're not the only ones who don't know what Phoenix is. You're saying Nazis are keeping secrets from Nazis? I'm saying the ones in charge of the secrets are the most dangerous. Yeah, that's why we brought the guns. To shoot them. Are we done here? Those papers are about to piss off out of Germany. You three, take the catwalk and make your bloody noise. Buy us time. Webb, no back here with me. We'll take the boat. Let's go. Richard, watch our backs. No back. You take the lead. Let's find that crate and get out of here. Eyes straight ahead. Watch the ricochet. You all right? 
It's got to be the command room. Let's get that hatch open. Stay close. Tossing grenade! There's the box. Novak, you're a safe cracker. Do the honors, will you? Arthur, the sirens have stopped. That can't be good. We've got to move. Now, Novak, help me. An eye, huh? Rectangulus. Australia. And also, you. Get on with it. How delightful, you. You think you're British? A Cambridge man, through and through. So, you know better than to ruin a man's evening. Beethoven's fault on that has exquisite, but demanding passages that deserve my full attention. Unlike you. Does the Negro give orders in English, too? <laughs> and do you follow them? Sie wissen, wie es ist, von einem schwarzen Befehler entgegenzunehmen. Er spricht auch Deutsch! <laughs> <laughs> oh. Please, proceed. Your Rhineland accent. You must be from Neustadt. During the occupation, you saw French soldiers who look like me carry guns in your streets. Marry your women. That's what I hear when you speak German. <laughs> Charming. We thrashed you once. Hear those bombs? That's us thrashing you again. Thrashing. <laughs> Thrash. What an interesting choice of words. I told you already. Get on with it. Yes. That's what you want. To sacrifice yourself. To be a, a leader. <laughs> I am not here to give you what you want. Quite a contrary. Give you monsters. What you say? What? Dispose of that. Put the rest in the trap. Fucking scavenger! Get your hands off your son! Novak. 
Jesus Christ. People die. People die when command fucks up. How exactly is this Arthur's fault? This is on him. And on Wade. That bastard abandoning his team. Well, you're right about Wade. If he shows his face again, I'll bloody kill him myself. Oh, yes. Let's keep blaming each other instead of the Germans. Is that supposed to impress me? Relax. It does not matter. Reisinger is going to kill us all. Reisinger? The Nazi. The one who killed Novak. Old friend of yours, is he? We have history. Oh yeah, what kind Forget of Forget Freisinger. Arthur will get us out of this. What, because he's your mate? He wasn't always. But I've seen him in action. You lose men. That's war. Sometimes the only way to honor a fallen soldier is to finish the mission. But try remembering that while their blood stains your boots. If you're meant to lead, you have to learn what it's like to lose men. To have them die trusting you. And it's only one way to learn that lesson. The first time I did was on D-Day.
Commander, don't shoot! Damn you, Kingsley. We picked you as a crowd. Lucky we didn't fill you full of lead. Nice to see you, gents. Where do we stand? The captain didn't make it, so we're on our own now. I say we dig in and wait for the rest of the sixth airborne to assemble. Henry said we have till dawn to destroy the artillery. If we don't, the invasion fails. So you fancy yourself the captain now? Sunup's an hour away at best. There's no time for a sit down. Yeah, there's also no muscle or no cavalry coming to save the bloody day. The only thing we can do here is to die or try not hey, to. You two scrapping of who's got the bigger bollocks ain't gonna solve nothing. Those German casemates aren't that far away. I think we can get to them in time. So I say we take them out. The company's scattered. We're pissing in the wind at this point. You know what's at stake. You all do. This is madness. Hey, we're beyond madness. Look, I'm with Arthur. We finished the mission. All right, Kingsley. Looks like you're in charge now. Casemates and Valhalla are that way. We should get moving. What's the plan, Kingsley? Let's get a park cleared. You heard the Sarge. Clear that debris. Lights on the cliff. That's the coastal defense battery. The bridge is well guarded and the bank's too steep. We secure the bridge then. It's our only move. You're the boss. Keep low. Watch that truck. We have an opportunity here. Stay quiet and get close. Targets. We've got options, Sarge. I'm taking the shot. Open fire! Take them down!
push! I think deep down he understood that, and realized we were cut from the same cloth. Web went up ahead. I think they're waiting on you, Sarge. How's it looking, Sergeant? Just see for yourself. Let's get you the lay of the land. Our targets are the guns housed in those casemates. And we can only get there through a horde of Germans armed to the teeth. Think you can handle taking out the lower gun? I fancy my chances. That bunker's our way in. But it's packed with MGs. It'll be a hard push. First job's getting across that minefield. But that anti-tank ditch could be useful. I've got an idea. I'm all ears. We can punch a hole through the mines with those blitzers there. And the bunker will make mince meat out of us as soon as they hear the engines coming. We're going quiet then. No engines. Bail at the last second, let gravity do the work. That should get us to the ditch at least. Well? I love it. I think you should go first. <laughs> all right then. As soon as you hit the ditch, Get the men ready. Tommy, you with me? Oh, yeah. Drive through the minefield, take the bunker, strap some thermite to some highly explosive weapons. Piece of piss, Sarge. And you, 
Get a second sun burning in the sky. If our ships don't see that flare, if they don't know we've won, they'll fire on the guns and risk taking us with them. Well, I don't know about you, but I think I'll take very little consolation in knowing that the fire that killed me was friendly. Don't worry, Gov. I won't forget to aim up. Godspeed, Kingsley. Just waiting on you, boss. You take the lower case, mates. I'll take the upper ones. Don't forget the flare. Let's move up. Where's Sarge? All right, boys, this is it. You're on me. Tommy! Try and get back. We need to clear the door. All right, lads. Up of you. With me. tearing us up. Press it fire now. Don't 
Give those MGs a target. Move this thing now. Stick on it, lads. Stay covered. Almost there. Cover ahead while you find a torch, Sarge. Bloody hell, it stinks in here. Sarge, torch over here. Best grab it. Seen a 125 up close before. Let's blast the fire. One down, one to go. That's the last of the thermite. Sarge, I could use your help here. Sounds like Webb did his part. The rest is up to us.
Case made it clear. How are we blasting this one? We're out of thermite. I'll feed it to Bangalore. Let's get up top before this thing explodes. You have the flare, Sarge? Bombardment's close. Go! Get out and fire the flare! <laughs> Sergeant, the flare! Bombardment's any minute! Damn! Flare's ruptured! You've got to be fucking joking! Where's Webb? There! Lower case, mate! Incoming! Get down! I'm going for Webb's flare! Get everyone to cover! We need to run for it! Time to take a kip. I was just waiting for some mad bastard to come and save the day. Well, let's you and I signal our boys, shall we? We'd lost our captain, but we'd won the day. And we'd honored the memory of all those we lost the only way we could by completing the mission. You look at the soldiers under your command and hope that they can do the difficult thing, the impossible thing. That flare told me I'd been right. This is what it means to be a leader.